Hi guys, welcome to Left WM. Um, this video is for Left WM users and who the guys who have um, Sublime Text in their workflow. So it's an application, it's an editor. And we were getting a little bit frustrated and at this point in time we're working with the latest Left WM that's two hours ago or something like that built. Well, we'll test it out for a week and then we'll give it to you. The issue that we have for left WM has never been a left WM issue. It has been, yeah, a sublime text issue. And we've been carrying it with us a few weeks and did our workarounds and all that. But um, I'll show you what needs to be changed. And the text that you see up here, that's the one you that needs to be changed. Remember workspace. So let's kill everything again. Let's just delete everything and show you what happens to it if we don't have that code. So if we have um, if you have workspace one, for example, and you want to have you want to open something and you do X resources, it just opens nicely on this guy here. So let's do layout single. So voila, we have this thing close without saving. So you have open it up on the same workspace. This is what you would expect the system will do. Now, if I close this here, and I always often switch around with all these workspaces that I have, and I go back in here, and I wanna read something else, Xsession, then it should open also in the same workspace. And at this point in time, it did not, right? Because of the code that's in here, it is now doing that. So let's kill the code again because it was not properly killed, I see. If we open it up here, it's gonna be here, fine. So number two, when I go back to number one and open it again, it's not opening a number one. So it's remembering the workspace and said, last time I opened up in two, so I'll go to two again. That's an, an uh, behavior we don't want, sometimes we, want that and we put it in our tiling window managers that a browser goes to workspace one that an editor goes to two that three goes to inkscape four goes to uh, gim goes to four and five is melt etc i have this in my brain because i've used it for years on i3 but these days i don't want to fix things like that and i want everything to be free if i want to open gimp on workspace one it should be i should be able to simple as that so the solution the how to find this is always more important to me than showing you click here, click there, right? Here's a big red button, push the button. No, that's not Arconex. We want you to give also the workflow. How did I find it? Well, by reading a lot. And um, in this case, well, we, we thought, first of all, we thought it was left WM. It was an issue of left WM. So we went to the guys. On, on their GitHub and ask, could you think with us? Because this is what's happening. It's annoying. It's always opening back on the same workspace and, and we don't want that, etc. And today, all right, a few minutes ago, it hit me that it must be something related to Sublime Text. And then I went into the code and I did something that people often do not do enough. I read the code. 800 lines of protected, because I can't type there, protected, the left bit is protected. The standard default sublime text settings. And these are the ones you wanna, or you can change the preferences sublime text of if I use control scroll, you see that the font will go bigger and it will follow the font to the right. So I read the code until I found line 600. So 600 lines to read to figure out, hey, he remembers the workspace. So you start up in the morning, you boot up, you open something up in workspace one, all day long, it will be in workspace one, the sublime text will be there and never on anything else. So next time, next day, you open a workspace five, it will be always be on 
uh, than workspace until you reboot, of course. So remember workspace, true? No, forget about it. I want you to be free and open up whatever you wanna be, and that's fine. So a control S, a super Q, and then one last thing, which kind of amazed me, but hey, computers, right? Now it opens up with two things, two borders. So view, layout, single, and then that's two is solved. And let's try it again. So you're working on workspace one, you open it up, it's there, fine. You close it again, you're working on something else, another project, but you want to see something, X init RC and it opens also on the same workspace, not on one anymore. So it follows me around. So if I go to workspace six and would like to have a look at a certain script or anything like that. I say, okay, five push to all Arclinx D ISOs. At this point in time, it's not opening here. And why is that? Common sense, let's have a look. That's my video, that's this, that's that. It is here open. So if it was already open, of course it stays here. But if it's closed, so the reflex should be, if you want it to follow you, the reflex should be, okay, fine, then I'll go in here, close every single time Sublime Text, open it up, and there it will, then it will follow you. Again, an example, if I go, if I don't close this one, and I go to one and I want to open it, it's going to be here, number six, you have to remember where it is. So my reflex will be super Q, out, open up, and Knut, you are in the video. All right, that's it. That's the solution, guys. A few, a simple code there, and everything is solved. Let me end with the last uh, image here. That's it. This and this gone. Remember, workspace equals false. Cheers.